Good morning, this is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio, and I hope you're well today. We've been talking about the rapture of the church and the Antichrist over the last few weeks, and, and there's such a great response to that that I wanted to maybe begin to elaborate more on the end times because it seems to be an itch that people need scratched. And I know there's a lot of information out there, but I and a lot of good information. Uh, but I want to make sure that you understand uh, what the Bible says about um, certainly those topics. And today we want to talk about the Antichrist. And we've said before that he will rise to power, one of Satan's, uh, one of, part of Satan's unholy trinity. He will rise to power uh, either through nomination or vote by the world. He will control all the world's finances. Uh, he will control all the world's natural resources. He will control all the world's uh, military power. He will have absolute control, uh, certainly under the authority of Satan, uh, and certainly God not giving up his sovereignty, but he's allowing this to happen. Uh, but he will have absolute control over the populace of the world. And so this man will have po unprecedented power um, that we've never seen before in the history of mankind to this extent. And so what will be his, uh, his purpose? Well, we know that, again, he's going to control all things. He's going to control the money, the, the military, uh, the natural resources, the, um, the, the politics, and everything it kind of goes along with that. But he, you know what? He's, he's going to uh, exalt himself to be worshipped. We'd see in Daniel chapter 7, 25 through 26. And he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws, and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times in a dividing of time, but the judgment shall sit and they shall take away his dominion to consume and to destroy it unto the end. Daniel 25, uh, 7, 25 through 26. In other words, he's going to rewrite history. He, we see uh, maybe the, the, uh, the spirit of the Antichrist certainly uh, has always been around, but we see it more and more uh, prevailing today where we rewrite history. We write history based on a certain slant. And maybe that's always been the case. But certainly we're seeking to rewrite uh, history, the past. And, and, uh, and, uh, and we begin to uh, magnify uh, things that were minor. And we minor on things that uh, should be magnified. And all these other things we've changed. It says it would change times and laws. And we see that today, don't we? We see this woke generation. We see them uh, canceling people because of uh, something they said 20 years ago, which was uh, acceptable, but now in today's norms, it's not acceptable any longer. And so they want to uh, get rid of people because of, of what they said many, many years ago. And it says here that he will speak against the Most High and he will wear out the saints. And his, his mission will be get uh, out to, uh, to persecute those who refuse to worship him. There may be many that may claim to be Christian who will see no problem taking the mark or see no problem worshiping, uh, worshiping the beast and say, well, I can, I can worship the beast outside my home, but, um, but in truth, I'm worshiping God in my heart. No, no, no. Uh, that's not, that can't happen. And certainly this is going to happen during the time of tribulation. The rapture of the church has already taken place, we believe. And that, uh, uh, Lord willing, if you're saved, you will not be here when this occurs. But many will be saved during the tribulation period. And they'll, have a, they'll be in a desperate straits because they will refuse to worship uh, the Antichrist. And as such, he will wear them out. He will persecute them. He will... Uh, seek to murder them, martyr them, destroy them. And, uh, and that's his uh, modus operandi. That's how he will operate. He will speak pompously and arrogantly. 
He will persecute and make war against the followers of Christ. And he will change history uh, to fit his evil agenda. And we see that today. You, you look back on today where people will look back and say how Christianity has been the, the, uh, the biggest uh, advocate of, of, of killing people in wars and so forth uh, throughout history. And that's simply a lie. It's simply a lie, but yet people believe the lie. And it continues to prop, uh, uh, propagate, doesn't it? It continues to, to go on. We, we, we know that uh, he will probably be from Rome or from the Eastern Mediterranean. He may have something to do with the Vatican. We are not exactly sure, but certainly um, uh, it, biblically it seems to indicate that his headquarters may be in Rome. And, and there, you know, he may be able to solidify not only uh, Catholicism, but uh, Islam and, and, and other uh, uh, religious organizations uh, to, to fit under one umbrella. And we see, again, that spirit of the Antichrist out with the Oprahs and others who say we all worship the same God. It just has different names. And you may worship Krishna, same God as, the, as Buddha, same God as Jesus Christ, same God. And, and that lie being perpetuated over and over again where people believe that all roads lead to heaven and that's simply not true. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man can come to the Father but by me. So what are we saying about this man? We, we're seeing that, number one, is that he will uh, he will rise to power without firing a shot, but he'll keep that power. He'll control all military. He'll control all uh, finances. He, he'll control all natural resources, and he will seek to control all religion. All religion will be uh, monitored to him. We believe that he will uh, most likely be uh, from um, uh, the Roman Empire. That seems what the Bible says, and it be maybe headquartered in Rome, and um, and uh, and be united uh, in with with Babylon. And we'll talk about that at another day. And so uh, there's much to be said about this evil person. And again, that spirit of the Antichrist is really what we need to stand against today. That idea of allowing the transgenders. Remember, yesterday we said that he may be a homosexual. And, uh, and maybe if that's the case, that's why we see such this depravity of allowing transgenders, uh, cross-dressers to get in there and start reading uh, LGBTQ plus pride books, Target and other companies out there um, propagating uh, this nonsense. It's, it's out there. It's out there. And you and I need to uh, be aware and stand against it as, as much as we can. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying God loves you and I love you as well. And I'll talk to you soon.